Oh, yes, we definitely have the thing for you. Northeast of Cape Agullis, on the shores of Marcus Bay, lies the tranquil little fishing village of Arniston. Now, Arniston is also known as Van Hees Krans. It's named after the low tide cave, which I want to know more about when we talk shortly, that resembles the kraal where the settlers used to live and reside. Now, we have Anlin Sneeman here, CEO of Cape Agullis Tourism, to tell us more about the myriad of options that are out there for weekenders and things that we can all enjoy. Anlin, first of all, welcome to the show. Very much, Ilana. Tell me more about Arniston. What kind of people and visitors does Arniston attract? Well, Arniston is a very nice village. Um, it attracts families to reunite, relax, and just to come and enjoy. Um, you know, the nice views. Mm. And then there's the Arniston Hotel. Mm. Um, so that's also, you know, nice. Mm. And then photographers, artists. Mm. Um, it's a picture place. Okay, so it's beautiful to look at. So everyone Definitely. wants to come and see uh, what you can enjoy there. What are some of the popular things that one can enjoy? I mean, I've learned now that I need to go and I need to explore the Arneson Hotel, I'm yeah. told. But what are some of the things that we can experience and see? Yeah. Well, you can visit the, the, the Bonas Kranz Cave. Mm -hmm. um, that's very nice. Just make sure it's low tide. I was told this. Yes, yes. You get stuck <laughs> apparently, so make sure it's low tide. Okay, yeah, what else tide. can we see? Um, well, you can do well watching. Mm -hmm. um, you can do, go to the whip, um, you know, for birding. Um, this guy is by, yeah. So that's in Honiston. So then, I, you know, there's Bredasdor, there's Elam, there's Napier, around, you know, the surrounding towns. Um, Agala, Strays by. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot of things that you can do. Yeah. And Napier is just before them. So you, yeah. you're on the way, you can yeah. pop in everywhere else. There. There's a new festival that's coming up this weekend. Tell me more about that. Yeah, it's the weekend at Honiston. It's from the sixth to the eighth mm -hmm. of November. So it's now Friday. It mm -hmm. starts. And then, um, yeah, there's, on Saturday and Sunday, there's a market. Um, there's um, artists that's, you know, that will be, be um, it will be Mark Lotteren, um, Skolt Besay, you know, Silas Miami that you had um, yesterday on the show. Um, just to name a few. Okay. Yeah. And, and I mean, what makes us different from all the other markets? I mean, first of all, it's in Arniston, which mm. we definitely want to explore and see. Mm. But what else can we, I mean, what makes the weekend a, a lot different to all the other yeah. markets that's out there? It's all the locals. Ah. So it's a local market. Mm. We use local, you know, the local people. So, yeah, it's a local market from the Cape Agulhas area. Okay. Well, it is exciting and it's so easy to also get there. Why not make Arniston one of your destinations that you want to visit, especially mm. when it comes to exploring your own country? country. Now I'm told it's only two hours drive from Cape Town and you mm. heard it. I just explained Napier and Bredasdorp. You go right through there yeah. before ending up in Arniston. Intense blue sea. So perfect for our little kiddies mm. to make sure that they have a good time. But uh, you can also make sure that you go to the market this coming weekend and you can get tickets from webtickets.co.za to go to the weekend. Well, Anneen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, just one of the things that you can enjoy to explore South Africa and also our beautiful small towns. Loads more happening on the show. Zoe, over to you.